Welcome to my channel. I've just arrived in Brundle in the Norfolk Broads. I'm here to film the Broom Owners Club 20th Anniversary Pageant. This is the biggest gathering of Broom members' boats in the history of the club and included members from Europe. Would you like to see the boat I'm going to be filming from today? It's an electric boat and it's absolutely beautiful. It was built by Landemars in Roxham. It's absolutely pouring down today, but there is a canopy on this boat, so we'll be protected from most of the rain. We leave the marina first and make our way down the river here to a place where we can watch the boats all assemble and get into their correct positions. As they go past, I'll tell you their names, the year they were built and the boat type. I'll apologise now, just in case I get any of them wrong. I have about 40 plus boats to get through. I have a beautifully prepared list in front of me. But of course, mistakes do happen. Fingers crossed, we'll be okay though. But just in case. For those of you who are new to my channel, I post a video each Friday. It covers the Norfolk Broads news for the last week. And of course includes footage of boats on the Norfolk Broads rivers. This week's news will be at the end of this video. And of course, the footage today is from the River Yare. It's the first time I've done a news video from here. And to have the pageant as well in it, it's great. We've just arrived at where we're going to stop to watch the boats going past. The boats have started to arrive and the first one to go past us is Hyperion. On board are Graham and Debbie. It's Graham who has organised this pageant for everyone today. Hyperion is a 1070 and was built in 1985. Ginny is a 29 ST and was built in 2000. Next is Elizabeth, an Ocean 29, and she was built in 1996. It's Eyesight next, a 970, built in 1988. Take a Chance is a 37, built in 1991. Over the Moon is a 30 Coupe, built in 2013. Birdland next, and that's a 32, built in 1984. Then it's Silver Lining, that's also a 32, built in 1984. Swanbury is a 345 OS from 1990. Eva guiding gracefully past me now, is a 35 European from 1976. An Ocean 35CL from 2004. Resolution. All the boats look stunning with their bunting on them, don't they? Icon is a Broom 39 from 2004. Tarn 2 is an Ocean 37 from 1979. There's probably going to be a couple of boat names I pronounce wrong, but this is Suniva, a Broom 38 CL built in 2000. Next is a Broom 37 built in 1991, Serenata S. This boat is called Coco. It isn't in the pageant. It's simply returning back to its mooring. Whatever must it think, you know, seeing all these boats on the river. I'm sorry if I pronounce this one wrong, but Simmels is a 415 OS built in 2000. 
2004. Amadeus M is a Broom 38 built in 2000. Piece of Fate and Dragonfly just coming out onto the main river. Piece of Fate is a 39 built in 2006. Dragonfly is a 41 built in 1998. Next out of the marina to come and take their place in the pageant is Antares, a 41, built in 1998. As beautiful as this broom boat is, it's not on my list and it doesn't have any flags on it either. So I'll just assume that it isn't in the pageant. Seawolf is a 425 built in 2010. Black Diamond is a 41 and it was built in 1996. Albatross 5, I presume V is 5, is an Ocean 42 and it was built in 1982. It's Foxley Lady next and she's also an Ocean 42 and built in 1983. Isabella is a 425 built in 2007. Aquarius next. She is a 44 and built in 1998. With other boats on the river at the same time it does get confusing at times. You can't always see the boat's name so I've put this number through the Broads Authority boat checker and this comes up as Sea Queen and it's not on my list. You can't actually see how hard it's raining in the film, but it's just got a lot heavier. Spectre is a 450 built in 2007. Born to Boogie is a 50 built in 2007. Then behind it is Delphinus, a 415 built in 2004. West 1 is a 50, built in 2006. Indigo Girl is also a 50 and she was built in 1999. Indigo Girl is actually the last boat. And just as it goes past me, Hyperion is coming back. How Graham worked out the timing of how far to go down the river so that it would be perfect timing when they came back past us in our little launch. Amazing, Graham. You've done a brilliant job here. The Broom Owners Club has 135 members. And this is the first time there's ever been a pageant of this size anywhere on the Norfolk Broads. And it is truly a magnificent sight. I think at one time it felt as though there were as many in front that gone past me as there were following on behind him. And it's just, look at the line, it's just never ending. recognize this boat pole to pole. I usually film it up on the river and at London Bridge going past so it's lovely to see them here on the air as well. I wonder if they realized it was me. <laughs> I did spot you all waving as you went past me 
Thank you. Steering us perfectly past all these fantastic large broom boats and we're in such a tiny boat. It's Mark from Landamores. And also in the boat is a photographer. And it was his idea for Mark to try and get us as close to the procession of boats there as possible. And to be in the boat so close to all of you going past, the engine noise was just phenomenal. I loved it. Loved all the different sounds. I'm not used to filming such big boats. So... You know, it's totally different to the cruises I'm normally filming. It's wonderful. It really is wonderful. And I'm not just saying that because I'm doing this video. It was being this close. Look, look how close I am. An excellent, excellent day. At this point, it got heavier, the rain. You wouldn't think it possible, but it did. So we followed the last boats back to the marina and you've all carried on and we turned in because everybody was just so drenched. I had the most amazing time. Thank you for inviting me. This pageant is definitely the best news for the week, but I think it's time to tell you some of the other news from the Norfolk Broads that's been happening. The first article for this week's news, which covers the 24th to the 31st of May, is a developer has lost his battle to build holiday lets and a restaurant at the site of the former Broads Hotel that burned down 30 years ago, and this was in Potter Heim. Tomorrow is the Three Rivers Race, starting at Horning Sailing Club. The race covers 50 miles. The competitors have 24 hours to complete it. Along with, along the route, there are three bridges to contend with. It is described as Europe's toughest inland sailing race. Richardson's boat firm are creating a yoga centre in Stalham. They have been granted permission to create a yoga studio in a yurt. At the site of a holiday let, it currently operates a canvas covered space at Stathe March House in Stalham will also have treatment rooms and a new balcony. After initially being delayed by bad weather, the replica 17th century galleon Andalusia has now arrived in Great Yarmouth. It is open and you're able to go on board and have a look around and further details about the cost of the tickets is in the write-up that goes with this video. The EDP has published a list of seven of the prettiest sites around the Norfolk Broads to go and visit. Out of the seven, I've actually made videos for five of them. If you'd like to see them, have a look at my page on Facebook and all the videos I've filmed are there. The links for each individual video is added to the comment section. Usually, at this point of the video, I would show you the thumbnail for the video on my second channel but I've had an incredibly busy week and at this present moment of time I haven't even begun began <laughs> to start editing it I just haven't had the time it's bank holiday Monday footage from when I went and filmed the planes taking off and landing and the helicopters at Norwich Airport just as the link for this video goes on my Facebook page for this channel, as does the thumbnail and link for my Norwich aeroplane video. That's where that will go as well. I'd just like to welcome to my channel all the new subscribers that have joined recently. 
Hello and welcome, thank you. That's just about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. And I'll be back again next Friday. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.